It's great to see so many of our partners, as Tony mentioned, here to share this special night as we get the 2016 season underway. It's an exciting time of the year, with the pre-season almost behind us. Our players returned to the club from a well-earned break five months ago and have been preparing meticulously ever since. Throughout the summer, we've undertaken a number of different challenges in preparation for the upcoming season. Among the countless hours of training, we tested our players mentally and physically with a bit of help from the 2nd Commando Regiment via a gruelling camp that you witnessed on the TV here before at the Holdsworthy Army Barracks here in Western Sydney. We challenged our players with a comprehensive boxing program that culminated with every player squaring off against a teammate in some very entertaining but very competitive sparring sessions. And we continued our ongoing commitment to developing our playing group as young men and valuable members of the community by spending time at the City of Sydney PCYC and the Matthew Talbot Centre. This, provided to, this proved to be an invaluable experience for everyone involved and served as a timely reminder of just how fortunate we all are to be involved in an AFL football club. If I was to characterise where we sit after a long hut summer, I would say that entering our fifth season in the AFL, we could not be more prepared to hit this ruthless competition head on. Our pre-season NAB challenge, as Phil alluded to before, has been pleasing. And we round this off on Sunday with a trip to the Gold Coast to take on the Brisbane Lions. As Tony has mentioned earlier, the pre-season has also been seen the club make significant off-field gains, with Toyo Tyres joining Virgin Australia as our newest co-major partner. To have an international brand such as Toyo Tyres come on board is a fantastic result for our club and the game of AFL and alludes to a very, very bright future. In addition to welcoming our value partners, Virgin Australia, here tonight, I'd like to join Tony in welcoming Michael Rudd and his team from Toyo. We look forward to forming a great relationship with you this year and beyond. This summer also saw us welcome a plenty, plenty of new members to the Giants family. And you probably need to put this into perspective. 24% uplift in terms of membership. By the end of the year, we could have 15,500 to 16,000 members in four years of AFL football. It's a clear indication that the people of Western Sydney and Canberra are continuing to get behind our team. I played back in 1990 at the Western Bulldogs. I'm a life member there. The membership was 8,000 after 80 years. To have 15,500 to 16,000 in the space of four years is quite phenomenal. At every game and every community event, it's noticeable to the playing group just how fast the level of support from the community is growing, with more and more orange appearing throughout the Western Sydney. With this in mind, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our loyal members who continue to support our players through the ups and downs. It's this sort of support that builds successful organisations. While change is inevitable at a young club like ours, and I too would strongly echo Tony's comments about Graham Allen, he has been a great servant to our club and will be a giant for life. Thanks, Gub. In addition to the new players you've just met, we've also been able to bolster our coaching, leadership and welfare staff this summer with some tremendous people. Lenny Hayes and Brad Miller joined our coaching staff this off season, while Nick Walsh has stepped up to an assistant coach's role. Nick Maxwell has been a brilliant addition to our leadership program and coaching ranks. While we've all been really impressed by the manner in which Dylan Addison has transitioned from the playing list to be the role of club welfare manager. 11 wins last season, was a good result for our club, but we are under no illusion we have to improve this year to take another step. We want to play finals footy and we want to win premierships, but that doesn't just happen. 
17 other clubs are saying the same thing. The phrase, you need to earn it, is well known for a reason. Make no mistake, we operate in a tough and ruthless business where winning is king. But that's what also makes it such a captivating business. As I mentioned earlier, with round one just 17 days away, it's an exciting time for our playing group and our club more broadly. To this year's playing group, you have put in a terrific pre-season and I'm confident that the group we have in this room is ready to take the club further than it's ever been before. To everyone else here tonight, thank you for your ongoing support. We are committed to making you proud in 2016. Have a good night and go the Giants.